if you want to get much smarter, you want to live longer, you want to be healthier from the standpoint of immune system, digestion, metabolism, all those things, I mean, the number one thing, frankly, is to get better at sleeping. You can't just sleep, right? But if you're not sleeping deeply and long enough for 80 plus percent nights of your life, you're not going to function as well as you possibly could. Now, everyone has different sleep needs. So getting good at sleeping is key. There are a couple different processes for that. One is to get sunlight in your eyes early in the day, close to waking, within the 30 to 60 minutes after waking. And if you wake up before the sun comes out, to flip on a lot of bright lights and then get some sunlight in your eyes early in the day because it sets a number of hormone and neurotransmitter based timers so that it makes it easier to fall asleep later that night. I would encourage everybody to do some form of non-sleep deep rest. So that, again, this isn't meditation, but something like, you can just look up NSDR or Yoga Nidra, or what NSDR, if you plugged into YouTube, there are a bunch of different NSDR scripts. All these are completely zero cost. Again, they teach you a number of things. They teach you how to deliberately relax your nervous system, which will allow you to get better at falling and staying asleep. And if you wake up in the middle of the night at falling back asleep. While there are medications and supplements that can help with sleep, the first line of defense or attack, I should say, should always be behavioral tools, right? There's no magic pill for sleep, really. Sometimes it's required, but typically doing something like NSDR. And the best time of day to do NSDR is going to be in the morning if you haven't gotten enough sleep or in the afternoon, or if you wake up in the middle of the night and need to fall back asleep. Really, there's no bad time to do it. And it's going to increase any neuroplasticity that you might have triggered in learning as well. So there are a number of reasons for that. So get good at sleeping, as boring as that might sound. That's when your brain rewires, that's when you reestablish your immune system function, your metabolism tunes up so your emotional state is tuned up. In fact, in the second half of a, of a good night's sleep is when you experience a lot of intense emotions, but you, your body actually cannot release adrenaline at that time. So it's a sort of natural subconscious trauma release therapy that we go through each night. And if you don't believe me on that, just sleep deprive yourself for a night or two and see how your emotionality is about, especially around troubling things, you're not gonna do as well. You're not getting that natural form of, of chemical and, and really cognitive therapy, even though it's subconscious. So get good at sleeping. And then the other one is learn how to focus better. Practicing not being drawn in every direction by every sensory stimulus, meaning by every phone, by every thing happening in your environment, learning how to focus. It focuses a skill and it's something that can be trained up. And the beauty of focus and the neural circuits for focus is that they are subject to neuroplasticity too. So you can get better at focusing and in time it gets easier to focus. So it's a positive feedback loop.